why I get annoyed. What we're not gonna be doing. This is the set. Oh, you funky man. Let's get into it. Good morning, guys. It is the start of a new weekly vlog. It is actually Friday, so this is probably gonna be from like Friday to like Thursday or something. It's technically still a week. Anna and I just woke up. She decided that she wanted to get Brugger's bagels. I haven't even had the time to wash off my tan because I self-tanned last night. It looks pretty good, I would say. <laughs> Anna, you're like zoning out. No. We're gonna get up and walk to Burgers Bagels. It is not that nice today and it's a good it's a good walk. Gel is adjusting nicely, aren't you mama? She literally popped my face so many times in the middle of the night. Look, she would pop my face if I wasn't petting her. She's like, I do fuck. <laughs> like she's so tired. And that in. too. That too, that's great. She does not care for catnip either. This is a catnip ball, you like screw this off. Ooh. And they can like rub on it. She does not care. But our little cats at home went crazy for it. And we got this so she could Oh like, my god. We didn't tell them. What but what? You said our little cats at home. I literally was bawling. I know. Okay, so we actually did not tell you guys this in the last vlog. And this was partially why the vlog was shorter as well. After Ella left Lewis, our black kitty, he just was not acting right. On Memorial Day, uh, my mom and our younger sisters took him to an emergency vet. We found out that he had lymphoma. It's a cancer, if you didn't know, and it was very rapid, and they said, like, there's, like, there's really nothing, like, we can do about it, and unfortunately, Lexi and I weren't even there, and they had to put him down that day. I remember, like, I was on a boat with my friends, and I just started bawling. Lexi was with Bo at his family's cabin, and we were, like, sending each other pictures and everything, and we were just, like, bawling our eyes out because he was only, like, two years old. He was three. Or, he was three. Ella's literally 16. Is she six? I thought she was, like, eight or nine. No. Really? Ella's old. She not that old. Mom said she's, like, 14 or 15. Oh, I was telling people she's like eight or nine. Oh, actually, we don't know. Ella's just old. She's an old fart. She's been around she's since we the been. dawn of time. It was really sad, especially in the day, especially not getting to say goodbye. But in a way, he was such a like friendly, friendly cat. Yeah, like, like he was a really good cat. Like Ella has sentimental value to us because she's just been around and she's been there but she's not like cuddly or anything like she'll come to you if she wants attention versus lewis always loved it he was always chatty especially for Aaliyah, because technically lewis was Aaliyah's cat just bella's like, my cat and nala is my cat so i feel especially bad for her because it hit, hit home especially because she like spent a lot of time with lou and she had like rescued him and everything like that it is very sad in a way i feel like i have closure because i know that when the last time i saw him like these eff effects of the cancer like hadn't taken a toll yet it was like a week before i think um because it was really rapid they said but i saw him when he was still <laughs> i can't i can't stop i can't stop complain about me i am about you because that is you I, started that. i hate My editing that out you're like <sighs> can you stop this is literally it's supposed like, to be a sentimental moment i know i just feel like i saw him in a good place before he passed yeah so and i, I feel like that. that i feel like that is like what because normally i would be like crying lou was such a good cat just very sad and very unfortunate so we just have been playing it by ear and giving Ella as much love as we can. Where is she? Yeah. We need to give her a kiss. Gorgeous mama, looks so beautiful. She's <laughs> Ma, put me in dramatic. Ella is like my soul cat. Like she is that. <laughs> <laughs> she is, she's like my soul cat. Like she, like, you guys had a bond. Some she can way, like sense when you're like some sad. Some way or... we're interconnected. Like she was there through my surgery. She was there. Also, through... I just want to say some shit. Somebody commented on my TikTok and was like, "Even her cat's thick." 
that is what we're not going the to do. The way I literally you say whatever you want to say about me, but the you, you don't be talking about gel like, like that. Cat. No, literally, I was like, I blocked that person. I was like, because even if you meant it as a joke, I don't think it's funny. Me. What we're not going to be doing is speaking on Jella's body and calling her thick. No, absolutely. That's me. weird as hell to me. Let's go. You need to stop fucking Huh? You need to stop. You need to stop. You need to leave. Have you ever seen that? Can I also get a hash brown with that too? Yeah. Wait, two seconds. I can okay. pay. I, no, I can pay. No, 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 you can pay. No, you're fine. I can pay. The ham and cheese. Yeah, could I get an egg white? Uh, the egg white? Yeah. Anna gets this coffee every time she comes here. So good. Even when I've gotten it iced and it's literally black coffee, it's so good. This is good. I and mean, I don't really like coffee like that. this Shea Avocado Lip Butter and it is so good. Like it is so good. Anna's one for lip balm. No, I am. Anna and I need to take some Instagram pictures in Honor Active. And then we got a nail appointment too. I took off my acrylics, so it's just the nubs and I actually think I'm just gonna keep my natural nail and try to grow them out. We have a nail appointment at one o'clock and then I think I need to get a new phone. There's something wrong. What the hell? There's something wrong. My phone's like hardware or something. Ever since I did the update, it like, I don't have 0.5. It keeps saying no SIM card available. Like, so I just need a new phone. We need to do that within the, <laughs> we need to do that within the next week. I wanted to do it today, but honest busy. Okay, Anna and I are officially ready i feel like we've shown kind of like what we've been using as far as like makeup goes in the past couple of vlogs so i didn't feel like we need to include it yeah and we're on the headband kind of wave right now it's super cute it looks really good i'm wearing the black one and anna's wearing the gray one we are taking instagram pictures so if you want to check out the pictures that we will be taking we have our instagrams right here probably be like a week old at this point because we're starting this vlog super early yeah we are but that's okay the fits Oh my god, I'm, a, I'm obsessed with this khaki color. And then, this is Anna. She's wearing slight blue with our favorite tees. These are the Honor Your Body tees. I was wearing uh, mine. And the material of these is just so comfortable. And like, don't come for my hair because I'm getting it toned tomorrow. But hopefully this works out, but Hydra Facial reached out to us and they want to give us a facial, which is so exciting because... If you guys haven't watched our last like birthday like vlog prep, we tried to get facials and the lady canceled like the day of, which absolutely sucks. Hydra Facial actually thought that we lived in LA. I feel like a lot of brands think we do, but I'm like, no, we live in Minnesota. So they are going to find a spa to collaborate with and hopefully we will get facials within this next week. They said that they would put something together for us. So I am super excited. They did not have to do that and who doesn't love a good facial? So I told them next week, I told them our hours, so hopefully that happens next week. Otherwise it will happen within the month of June and of course we will take y'all with us. We have our nails later today too. I feel like we get our nails done every single vlog, but at the same time, like 
was do was do. We can try. We'll try to take you guys along, but hopefully Otherwise we'll plop them up like bloop bloop, bloop Yeah, we'll be like bloop 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 all the pictures because if somebody's in there it kind of gets awkward and I'd rather just take the pictures and dip because I think we are gonna work out later today, right? Do you wanna work out later today? Yeah, after our nails. Okay. Oh my gosh, I also want to know, I made like this face when I got my Rare Beauty PR package and somebody literally took a screenshot of it and made it their profile pic and it was so funny. Like I, it literally had me rolling but I was like, I'm never going to get excited over shit again because the way, <laughs> it literally was like a meme. I was like, y'all, quit playing. I just been balling out every season. Know some niggas I left in the peace. I just been married to Double Cup. I gotta pull me a four inside another leaf. Tie up the beds and then run it up. I gotta put the new bells inside of the freeze. Back at the trap, I was ducking them people. Ducking the birds, sending out them eagles. All of my diamonds gonna bust out the meter. I'm dripping water, nigga, I will feed them. Damn. Okay. So I'm just gonna grab a quick. I'll grab her one too, cause I'm nice. These blessed protein bars. They're so good. We're on the way to get our nails done. Fuck. What code? The spark code? Yeah. For Anna? Or for Lexi? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Monday and Jelly is hungry so we're gonna get her yeah I know give him kisses um, I'm gonna get her some of her wet food for the morning Is the next day it is actually Monday it's not the nicest day out summer's playing Anna and I have a few things that we need to do we like to start off the week like filming a lot of content because we are doing 
full content creation this summer make sure that we have stuff to do so i have my brand deal video that i need to post i have to help anna with her invoice we need to film some gym content we have a few ideas i asked you guys what kind of content you want to see because I like want to branch out just a little bit like I'm gonna be filming a hair video and, and that, that's not necessarily like branching branching out it's more so like me trying to post something and see how it does and see if you guys like it I'm gonna try I've posted a few hair videos and they not necessarily have done well but I still want them up because I still feel like I get a lot of questions because I get in my head sometimes where I'm like oh like that didn't do well should I take it down but also, I think there are three strikes when it comes to posting. I think, especially on TikTok, you could see me post a video, take it down. Because maybe it's not, like, maybe it won't do that well the first time. So I'll try again, and I'll try one more time. And after that, if it doesn't do well, maybe I'll see how it does on Instagram or something. I think there's a three-strike rule. So I'm going to film this hair video, and we'll see how it does. Also, we need to go grocery shopping. And I know we do that in every single vlog. I literally saw this TikTok and it was like me watching every YouTuber go to the gym and go grocery shopping. I'm like, that is so facts. Actually, we really do because I'm like, I'm we don't have anything. I'm probably just going to eat oatmeal. And then I need to get a new phone. So I actually just paid this phone off. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I shoot all of my content on here. But I the last two times that I've updated my phone, I've had two like hardware issues like software and hardware issues and i've been on apple support and they said that i would have to send my phone in now i wouldn't necessarily have an issue with that but i repurposed a lot of old videos i think i need all of the content that i have within my phone um and i just don't think i can send my because i've done it before i've sent my phone away for like it, it, it took like five weeks for it to come back so like i told you guys earlier i'm gonna make these like like a little bit of a healthier version of Special K bars. And this is gonna be my first time making it, so I'm actually really excited and I'm gonna record it, but honestly, it's pretty much the same because I'll just be using like rice cakes instead of Rice Krispies. And then instead of like a milk chocolate, I'm just gonna use these uh, Lily's dark chocolate baking chips, which I really, I actually really like these. I didn't know if we had some still or not. I'm just gonna use peanut butter. I'm not gonna use like PB Fit or like protein, pe like no, I'm not. I like using peanut butter. It's good, don't get me wrong, but like, um. Why are you being a hater? I'm not being a hater, I'm just saying I don't need to add protein into everything. Like if you see our yeah. little cooking videos, like some meals will add a scoop of protein, some meals will have half protein, some meals they're literally already protein packed or already on the healthier side. Like it's all just kind of like how we feel and balance and shit like that because I don't want to always be doing it and then um i just got some hygiene stuff because i got a new cleanser lex and i've been really fucking with camille rose and i just ran out of my leave-in and it's from yell which i liked but this smells really good and it's just a, like a moisture milk yeah and it's a little bit i thicker. love camille rose but sometimes i've been getting like two items and it's like 50 bucks That's yeah. not they're a little bit, bit pricey but a little bit they're a lot they're pricey but honestly all curly hair products are pricey like anything that's gonna do something for you is gonna be expensive i haven't had one of these in a while i remember we would only eat these i know i got randy's yesterday too me and devin did because we were in red Wing. if you know you know i'm not gonna say nothing more about that oh geez know what i'm talking about like literally oh geez like our down to our first youtube video <laughs> But yeah, that's my little haul and I'm gonna make that. Okay, so it's a little while longer. Um, I have my hair wrapped right now because I just filmed my... <coughs> <coughs> oh my gosh. I just filmed my go-to hairstyle for a little TikTok that I'm gonna post. Now I'm just gonna get ready, pack my gym bag, and head to the gym. Anna and I have a few things that we're gonna film there. I'm gonna try to film my workout at the rec. So we'll honestly see how that goes. Yeah, let me just pack my gym bag. I can show you, I can show you guys what I got. So we do actually have a more in-depth video. So I'll just like leave it up at the top. So far, I have my tripod card to get in. These mics, because I think we're gonna do a little mic'd up thing. So I have my mics. These are the Rode wireless two mics these are by far the best mics i've ever used they are expensive i think these two together were like two hundred dollars it definitely is an investment and i mean both on and i can use them i did have these other ones that were like 
50 bucks I think and they works pretty good but the quality on these they hook up to your care it just it's just too good that to pass out for me my straps you guys always ask me where my straps and my hip thrust pad is from it is from upper gear speaking of which I need to grab because the last time I forgot it covers not mine because I'm not about to scratch these so these are actually covers I always like to pack a little bit of perfume this one smells really good. Not sponsored. Well, I did a sponsored post with Separate, but I would totally do it again because I these are so convenient. I wanted to make a leg day on my exact like glute like routine because I feel like there's a lot of overcomplication. I am just gonna walk you guys through a standard glute workout that is not only effective but it's simple and you can do it with no weight you can do it with dumbbells you can do it with a barbell whatever you want you can do it with the smith machine so yeah there's so many different variations i'm happy to do it with a barbell so yeah Buckle up, girl, because I'm going to take you through my glute workout that has helped me grow my glutes from this to this. Obviously, genetics, nutrition, hitting your protein goals are very important. So don't forget that, but I'm taking my pre-workout cocktail, and I warmed up, and now we're getting to work. Started off with this triset. We do five hip thrusts, five cast glute bridges, which just have a shorter range of motion, and a five-second hold. Y'all, I quite literally have to sit and marinate on my pump because this has my glutes feeling so good. Next, we go into RDLs. I really focus in on my form here. I push my hips back like I'm closing a car door. It helps me every single time. This has been a new fave of mine. Ignore that I spell sumo wrong. Y'all know what I mean. Sumo dumbbell squats have been making my glutes feel really good lately. You can replace that with step ups or medias kickbacks, whatever you're feeling, whatever works for you. Next, we're going into this drop set of Bulgarians. I know I save worse for last. Y'all know me though. It's nothing new. We're gonna do six to eight reps, drop the weight, and go tell failure. Pump seriously goes crazy, and so has the growth lately. I hope y'all try this workout. Okay, Lex and I, well, I just got back from the gym and I'm gonna make those little rice, or er, not rice crispy, special K bars. So I am back and I just finished editing a video that I'm trying to upload to TikTok. I don't know why it's taking so long. It's being kind of, oh, there we go. But I'm oops, so excited for this recipe, y'all. So. Let's get into it. I wanted to like give y'all a little update. So Lexi and I both bought Final Cut Pro finally because so many people are like it's so much easier, it's so much like more efficient and like, oh I love this so much Joe. It's just a whole lot of things, right? Love you so much, beautiful. She looks pissed. They just said it was like worth the hype and I got it and I was like, I paid $300 to be confused because what? Lex and I have only been using iMovie. Only been using iMovie. People are like, no, like the transition, like it's just so much easier, da 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 da. I'm like, did you use iMovie before? Did you use? Because our girl, Lena, Lena Liss, I know y'all know her because she's just that girl, but I was literally talking to her. She's like, no, like whoever told you it's easier, it's not. Like, I just feel like you didn't start using iMovie, then you just bought Final Cut Pro because I don't need to, like I don't use it for like TikTok or Reels or literally anything like that. Like I strictly used iMovie for YouTube and it was just really easy to navigate and the only thing that kind of was bothersome was the lack of like transitions, how long it took to like download and stuff like that. And then um, we like the text, like we would have to like import the text from like a Canva green screen or whatever. The text is not all that. It's confusing to navigate. There's like so much going on. Like I need to watch some videos because I try to go in head and try to go headstrong and I ended up having to move to iMovie and I just had so many people slide up and they were being super nice. Like I'm not trying to come off a certain way, but I was, I don't know. This is your sign. Like if you're trying to do YouTube or do content creation or whatever, you do not need to just buy the most expensive things and products and editing software etc because Lex and I use iMovie for over a year like up until now since when we started and we're still using it like I think Lexi's slowly editing this video in Final Cut for the first time because I was so stressed out last time because I was like this is taking me too long like I would have already been like halfway done with this video had I been using iMovie let's get into it
can leave us in peace Cause all of these niggas be on you I'm just saying I can be Yeah, one that you call and you talk to Girl, I'll share my world with you If you gonna wait Here is the final product. I took a bite out of that one, but Lexi's gonna try them here. I think they're really good. The dark chocolate chips are healthier, but I just think, like, I don't care that much. Like, I'm gonna do milk chocolate next time. Really? Yeah, I think so. Try it. My period, and I always crave dark chocolate. Really? Oh, I do too, actually. And I always like we cook a lot but we don't make that many like servings because we get like sick of stuff it's why did it just go dark so we are on the way to the t-mobile store to hopefully upgrade our phones if my phone didn't have any issues I probably wouldn't be doing this Okay, don't make the noise. It's on his car. Nothing new. <laughs> but on and I, we're at T-Mobile. I don't think we're gonna vlog inside. Inside, just cause if everything works out, we will come and show y'all the new phones. I'm so excited to get these issues because my camera's not working right. It's and it's being weird. Yeah, what you already explained. But also, I'm out of storage because I'm at 125. A pontoon crunch. Crying. <laughs> <laughs> so Huckleberry. No, this is. I know. I think we're gonna try. Should we do ginger pop? We have a craft soda. I've been a soda. Uh huh. And I can put you in. So they actually have this ice cream and a little ice cream, like this flavor. Brown and I got Pirates Bounty. And it's so good. They have it in a little shop in our hometown, and I've never seen it anywhere else. So the fact that they have it here. Mm. And then we're gonna try these for dinner. Mm -hmm. We got a comment, and it was like only one person, but they said we kind of do the same things, which we do. We but do. we're trying to, like we said in the last couple of videos, we're trying to like do more things or like film more stuff, but it's really hard. Like even with my hair, I forgot to bring the camera because I was with Deb and I was distracted, but also like I was in and out and that was actually probably like not my like best experience there. All my other ones were very good, but like I just feel like I paid so much and got so little because I just got it toned and then styled, but my hair wasn't even dried all the way. So I don't know. It was just like meh. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, I messed it up. This is why I get annoyed so easily. <laughs> There's like bugs on it. It's like Christmassy. It's literally an hour later. We obviously, by the tone of my voice, if you can't tell, it did go right, it did go right. Because um, we thought that we just paid off our phones, but they're actually not paid off. And then on top of that, they only had one 256 gigabyte iPhone 14 Pro in purple and I was gonna get that I really don't care what the color of my phone is but Anna over here does I mean I get it if you're paying all that money you want it to look how you want it to look so um we're stuck um, we need to make sure that it's paid off. The thing, our phones were still on our mother's account even though we have our own accounts. Well, and we had thought we had switched it, thought everything was fine, but I guess, like, cause we would both get emails like, hey, like your payment, and we had like auto pay set up, but I guess our phones couldn't 
fully switch over because there was a I don't even know they just but regardless they, but my mother said that she paid it off and we were just paying her like the money since like stuff didn't go right but apparently it still says that's not paid off so, so we can't trade it in so we can't trade it in so we're gonna get that figured out hopefully later in the week then I can we can both get a new phones we'll just call the T-Mobile location that we go to I love you fight kung fu, but I go fight for you. I got my eyes on you. You got fights on you. I love you die for you, ladies. But I live my life for you. I got my eyes on you. You got fights on you. Jack I don't cheat it. We could go on a vacation. So our total was 306 and hopefully these last us like two and a half, maybe three weeks. But we go home a lot, so normally it's been three weeks this summer. Yeah, it is a lot because we shopped it all at Target. If you would have done this at Aldi's, I guess it would have been like 250. It would have been so much cheaper. I feel like our groceries are a lot, but we don't eat out nearly as much. Like we're eating all of it. It's not like we're wasting food or anything. Like we eat all of it. Like genuinely. Okay, so it is currently the next day. It is Tuesday, June 6th, and it is 10 o'clock right now. I just wanna know, ever since school ended, cause I would get up at like 6, 6.30 in the morning, ever since school ended, I have been greatly taking advantage of sleeping in, which I think sleeping in is until like nine personally, or even like eight. I need to start getting up at a I feel like in the summertime now I feel like I can get up at seven o'clock and be super productive and I just need to get back into that I'm kind of slacking a little bit um, on that I keep waking up at like 8 or 8 30 but I also keep staying up until like 11 like last night I stayed up until 12 editing and I woke up at 8 o'clock this morning so granted my body needs eight hours to function so regardless I'm trying to get eight hours even if I stay up late so I just need to get back into going to bed a little bit earlier and ending my night earlier. But I did some cleaning. I made breakfast, which you guys saw. And I'm about to head to the gym. On and Devin are already there. And then after, we're going to come back and get ready to go to this cute little cafe. We're going to eat, talk. Also going to take Instagram pictures <laughs> again. And then I also wanted to tell you guys that I scheduled a hair appointment for Fulbright's and maybe a cut on thursday so i'm gonna see you guys with me i get a lot of questions on my hair because it used to be very blonde and very brassy and i didn't really like it it didn't fit me but i didn't know that i could like tone it and such if that makes sense so i think what was it a few months ago i think in march yeah in march i got my hair done and i went i went back to more of my natural color brown and i got some pintura highlights in the front very natural but i also did get low lights to kind of contrast that because my hair is actually very dark and you honestly can't like you can see some of it but it, it's not a lot so and i did partial which means i didn't do like the whole under part of my head and so i think for summer i just like want to do that and by any means it's not like it's not a lot of like dye i'm not going like full blonde it's just some natural like honey highlights and i like my highlights very ashy i don't want them brassy i don't want them yellow and i think that's why i really like like the subtle like it looks very natural in my opinion so what i'm doing is i'm getting the under part of my hair because the under part of my hair is kind of still that like blonde that's like growing out and it's it's ugly i think so what we're doing is we're just going to do it all over like pintura highlights and do some low lights because i really like that i have some inspo pictures from pinterest and right but and there's like low lights but i also want the like i want the highlights to be a little bit more brighter and then also, I don't think I want as many. So, nah. 
This is gonna be Anna, stop. It's hot. This is gonna be our initial reaction to a new collection. Also, I'm eating one of these Chobani. Um, I just had one. These ones have 10 grams of protein, but I normally get the ones that have 20. They're so good. Privacy purposes, this will be in black and white because these are unreleased. But that's why it's still a sneak peek because it's our initial reaction. I love this color. It's outside of my comfort zone, but that'd be cute. It's cute. Okay, we need more of these. They're just socks. Super cute. Little, little matching set. More socks? I thought they sent them as sets. I do too. And it's nice because that's what's in a mix and match. So it's not that. We should do like a mix and match, like shoe. Like opposites, right? Obsessed. Obsessed. Uh, so cute. So excited. This is definitely like summer. Okay, next. So Anna and I got invited to the Flash movie premiere in LA, but also in Minneapolis because they had they're having one this week actually. And we were gonna include that in this video, but turns out they're like not responding because I asked for like dress code. I also like they sent over stuff like it was all supposed to happen, but they just haven't responded. And but there aren't like that many uh, like pop ups and like I would say like influencer opportunities in Minnesota. Like, yeah, it's not so like that. I feel like it's New York and LA. Yeah. And Houston. And, yeah. So I just feel like it was very exciting. Kind of poopy though. Very. Because what they just haven't responded to me. And I've messaged them. I've kind of like messaged well, we were them just, a few times. We were just asking I, questions. Yeah. Like, it was just very common questions like, oh, like, what's the dress code? Like, like just question like in general. And it was yeah. just like, but I don't know. So I ordered some stuff that I wanted to come because I was going to wear like gold heels and like have a gold purse. And I don't know what kind of like outfit, but I just figured it'd be cool because the flash is like gold and like red. Mm -hmm. And I already have this purse in silver. Oh, you got it in gold? Yeah. Yeah, but for game days at the U. That's like, oh. that's what I was going to do in the, come the fall. Or even in Cancun because I ordered a pair of gold heels. I have a little clothing haul for you guys. Everything I got is from Meshki and it's a little like Mexico trip clothing haul. I can find a dupe on Amazon. Oh wait, hopefully it's not too big. Maybe it'll fit me. <laughs> hopefully this will fit. Okay, so it's supposed to be a matching set and I actually saw Michaela Marie wear this and I was like looking at it and I saw how good it looked at her on her so I was like, okay, let me get that because I already had it in my cart. I just didn't know. So I got the bottoms in a medium and the top in an extra small. So hopefully they fit, but I think it's super cute. And there's like padding in here, so you don't have to wear a bra either. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's so short. That's cute though. It's cute, yeah. I can go over your like swimming suit because I don't. I wanted a sparkly like swimming suit. Oh, that's cute. So I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. So these are the bottoms. They're actually super glittery, cute. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Man, I could have made this myself. <laughs> Strings. Okay, I don't know about this top. <laughs> it's good, that's good quality. Yeah, so it's like this, and then the back is like open, if that makes sense. And it goes like all the way down on the ground. And okay, you guys, I kind of have stuff all over, but this is the set, it's hurt. And then it's like good in the back. I got this in a medium and it honestly could be a little tighter, but it's okay. And then I got the top in an extra small. And I love this, especially for Cancun. Like it's so cute. Here is the dress. It's absolutely stunning. I feel like when I get an even better tan while I'm there, this will be super cute. Um, Lexi. I'll better find your love. I'll better find your love.
are ready now. We're wearing the blazers there, but they're not really like a part of our outfits just to be a little bit more covered because we're going into cities. But this is a vibe and um, we're gonna Uber there. I'm excited, I'm excited to get some good coffee, some good food and just catch up, chill, talk about stuff, talk about stuff, answer some emails, so yeah. We took the pictures. I actually really like my hair like this. I think I just made this one too long, but it's 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 really cute. Like I like it. I just slicked back the front pieces, and I did a little braid. This would be really cute in the middle part too, but I don't know if I like myself in the middle part quite yet. We took the pictures. The croissants were good. I just think we need a little bit more fulfilling. So we're actually both gonna shower again, and then because we were like, we're just literally gonna lay in bed and, and edit. Bed. edit. Like and that edit. That is the reality of. Sorry, my pants are mud. That is the reality of like working from home. Like, there's a lot of benefits and a lot of blessings, but you kind of gotta make your own schedule. And we've been like go 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 today, like filming and prepping everything. And then after you do that, you literally spend like the rest of the day like in a coffee shop on the couch. Like if you want to get out of the house, that's what we're gonna do. But we've been out today. So I think we're just both gonna like lay in bed, be in some comfy sweats, have some playing in the background, and just relax. Well not only that, but I have oh, been trying to working. I've been we got Final Cut Pro and I've been trying to get it to like work like how I want it to because I'm not used to it and it's a bit complicated. And for all y'all saying that it's easier than iMovie, no it's not. If you iMovie. No, it's no, no, it's not. Out doing it, then, then, yeah. then yeah. So I have about um I got a lot to edit, and there's just more and more footage throughout the week. So I'm trying to like make it easier for myself. But the pictures that we took turned out so good. We'll see y'all in a little bit and make some food because I'm hungry. I am croissant. the uber is one minute away and we're about ready to go to our facial Devin was here with us this morning but well with me but yeah we're about ready to go so we're gonna head out the door Ooh. I tinted my eyebrows before they left it they're kind of uneven do you want to stand back here yeah Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. So, which one's Alexis? I'm Alexis. Alexis, and you are. Kennedy's <coughs> been watching some girls from Minnesota, and I was like, "What?" And I was like, "Pull them up. I want to see." Like, I know everybody. Yeah. So I was like, "I want to see." Like, do I know them? And, and so I was like, "It'd be crazy if it was those twins." And like, he's like
though these lights have phones, so we can have one on top. Oh, no. and then oh. We have this, which is gonna be on the side. Okay, that's um, so cool. That is yeah, all so angles. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so cool. The way that wasn't even recording, and I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. This is, yeah. And I see you. May I breathe you in? It's the texture of your skin. All around my arms, around you, baby. Feel free to relax. You can close your eyes. You can fall asleep if you need to. Three breaths through your nose. See you. It's nothing like your touch. It's the way you lift me up. Yeah, and I'll be right here with you too. Yeah, I got my teachers out in Georgia. Oh, yeah, shit. I get my weed from California. That's that shit. I took my kick up to the north, yeah. Badass bitch. I get my life right from the source, yeah. Yeah, that's it. You enjoy it. But I'm for ya. Yeah. All I could want, all I could wish for. I ain't so low now. So once I finish the right side of your face, I'm gonna give you a mirror and let you see. It's kind of crazy. Days we save as souvenirs. There's no time. I want to be more time. So notice how this side is more like plump and this side's more like straight and curved. Yeah. And I'm starting with my
so gel if you knock this camera over it that was a 10 out of 10 experience like experience was absolutely amazing if you couldn't tell by my skin it looks so glowy i have this actually scabbed um over but it was a 10 out of 10 experience like i've never gotten a facial like we said <coughs> um the woman who owned the place was literally so nice she gave us so many helpful tips on skincare i was like what do you think about this what do you think about this like she said she loved to talk it so we were just talking it up she was from minneapolis like she even gave, gave us like food places like recommendations and such and whatnot and it was just it was such a good experience she was explaining every step of the way as you saw and my face feels better than ever anna and i actually scheduled for next week we scheduled i scheduled a brow lamination tint and wax and anna just did the tint in wax um i <laughs> like my eyebrows tinted y'all know that and i just wanted to try a brow lamination especially because we go to mexico in two weeks like why not like lashes they do like waxing like brazilian waxes and such and i would just love to like go back there again and make this a routinely thing like anna said and she's going to get her sweet green right now but you can't actually work out at 24 hours after you get a hydrofacial so i will not be working out today and neither will anna and we actually i didn't plan on working out because i got my period and it's very very heavy and it's low-key like like bad like the cramps are really bad and yeah that's the plan i'm about to eat and edit the rest of the day nothing special nothing special by any means i'm just exhausted and my period like is really kicking me Oh my gosh, this is still going. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> okay, so it is actually like a day later. And I didn't honestly get to film that much at my appointment because I was literally running so late. And my phone was literally on the verge of dying. And I had to Uber there and just had to go. And so... <laughs> My phone was on the verge of dying and I didn't want to like film too much on my phone because I needed to Uber back. And then I was going to a concert later that night with my friends and it, I like, they were already, like, I was just, it was so hectic. Um, my hair looks really good. Um, I just got some more highlights. That's, uh, and some low lights. We did a little bit more on the money pieces on the front part of my head, but they i think are a little too brassy so i actually think i'm gonna go and get my hair toned or just do a really strong purple hair mask or something i'll look at amazon but other than that it turned out really good you can kind of see it. i just added more um but still very natural still love the low lights i think it adds a lot of contrast to my hair what else then i went to the concert it was really fun that was actually my first concert and I didn't really know the artist performing, but I had a really good, <laughs> I had a really good time. It was a hectic night. And then um, now I'm at my boyfriend's. As you can see, I'm not at my house. And Anna is at Devin's. So I'm just going to spend the weekend with Bo. And Anna's going to spend the weekend with Devin. Be like, it's going to be nice to relax this weekend. Because as you guys saw, we had a really hectic like week but it was fun like i loved it i loved doing everything that we did it was also just very very busy but i hope y'all love the video i hope it was entertaining i know we didn't talk too much we're gonna save the talking for the twin talk next week i think that i think that's what we're gonna do maybe we'll see we'll see we'll see
hope you guys love the video as always thank you so much for the love and support i really wanted this vlog to be an hour but i just don't think that's gonna happen but anyways stay true stay you and we'll see y'all next week